welcome back to Boomer's Playground. Today we'll be going over coding exercise 51 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. If you watched my previous video, um, I did mention that section 23 doesn't have any actual coding exercises. These are all, um, I don't want to say important, but they're really fun things. So if you went through them and you have any questions, um, you know, get at least get five people together and we can do a QA and a and we can go over them because, uh, I mean, in reality, in actual production, um, these are really, really helpful, uh, but you won't, um, you don't really know how helpful they are until you have to start using them. So, yeah, so this one is going to be about, um, we're actually interacting with the DOM now, which is really cool. So the DOM is... Um, it, it's, it's pretty much the site. It's called the, it's called the document object model. And you can think of it as like, all this is the DOM. And so what you can do is you can do things like this, where let's see, so we have blog feed and then we have the H2 of hacks blog. <clears throat> so let's say, <clears throat> let's say we wanted to change this, but we wanted to change it programmatically. So we can do, um, blog feed and what we can do is we can get document query selector which <clears throat> and actually sorry i should probably find something that has an id because that's what you guys are using um class class content and then hero all right well let's just do this so let's do all right so we have the id of content and then yeah, let's just see what that is. So what we can do is we can do const. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just do a header. And then you can do document get element by ID. And then all you have to do is pass the ID into the, the parameter or the argument or whatever you want to call it. And so we get content. And then let's log header and let's see what we get. And you'll see we get the actual element of uh, of the content. So that was kind of neat. So we just programmatically grabbed that entire thing. And then I don't think that it's in this one. Yeah. Okay. So we're just, uh, we're just grabbing them, but like the things you can do is we now have this header. Uh, what we can, like what we can do is we can do inner HTML and then just set it equal to, uh, you know, let's let us get jobs as developers. And then the header well, it didn't do what we thought it was going to do, but um, we'll go over that. I'm not sure why. Oh, because I put inert. All right, that's why. So let's, um, yeah. So I know it might be tough to see, but you'll see I said inert instead of inert HTML. And then you'll see right here, we've literally changed the entire MDN website with just JavaScript. Now, when you're doing stuff in the console like this, it's not saved anywhere. So we just refresh it and we get back what we had. But let's say we wanted to grab this guy. Like, what is this? Uh, so we got content and then we have H1. So I'm just doing that because it has the ID because that's kind of the thing we're, we're going on now. So let's do const. Um, yeah, what was it on Libre now? Content. Oh, that was the one we just did. All right, yeah, so. But yeah, so that's kind of the, that's how you can kind of interact with the DOM, which is like really, really cool. Um, also, um, well, well, we'll go into that when we get into the query selector and query selector all. So, all right. So this one's pretty straightforward. Um, it just wants us, uh, it gave us some markup, which markup is just HTML. And we want to select the following by using the get element by ID. So 
Um, we can go old school, and I know I say we should always do this, so I will um, create image variable, um, put actual image element in image variable, and then we can do the same thing, which is create heading variable, and we'll do for put h1 in heading variable. All right, so first things first, we'll just do image and we'll do heading. So now we have our two variables. And then um, you just did the lecture, so you should remember it. But like I always say, let's say, you know, you got kids, you got a husband, you got a wife, and you just, you know, you just weren't paying as much attention as you should have. So let's Google it and let's see how to do it. All right, so we got ID, which that's, I don't know, that just seems like a, like a variable maybe. And here's an example. We have an ID of para and, okay, cool. So look right there. So we got the get element by ID and then we just use the name of the ID, which is awesome. All right, cool. All right, so let's just do that. So we'll do document dot get element by ID and we'll do uh, what was the image one? Uh, okay, so we got unicorn and main heading. All right, so we got unicorn. And we should really just have to do the same thing. Main heading. And I think that should satisfy it. And it's not. So let's see what we did wrong. So select the image element by its ID and save it to a variable called image. The image variable should be defined, expected, undefined to be defined. So it looks like it's my image issue. And um, this is something as you're getting, um, as you get further and further and as you're using like VS code and like the color matching, you'll notice like, why is this purple and this isn't? Well, if you check, we're saying, it's saying image doesn't exist. So, all right, well, we clearly named it right here. Document dot get element by ID. Oh, and then you'll see I had a lowercase i instead of an uppercase i. And so that color matching helps a little bit. And then this should satisfy the test. And perfect, we have solved that. So um, this one's pretty good. Um, this does require the element to have an ID on it. Um, in the next lecture, you're going to see about elements by tag and also the query selector, which these are the ones I use the most, but um, watch those two videos and we'll go over coding exercise 52 next. But I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next exercise.